Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to give you an update on the buses that are coming into the country. So as you know, the JUTC does not have enough buses. They are short of buses. But they have plans to bring in 300 new buses. And when those 300 come in, along with the ones that came in over the last two years, they should have enough to operate at a more efficient rate. So we're going to go through an article that gives more information on the arrival of the 300 buses. The first set of 100 compressed natural gas CNG fuel buses for the Jamaica Urban Transit Company are expected to arrive in time for the start of the 2024-25 academic year in September. This batch forms part of the 300 mixed energy buses that the government will be acquiring over the next three years to boost the state-run JUTC fleet and address needs in the public transportation system. Minister of Science, Energy, Telecommunications and Transport, Honorable Darrell Vaz, provided the details while delivering a statement in the House of Representatives. The Ministry has redoubled efforts to increase the overall fleet with the addition of 300 mixed energy buses. These will be added to the system over a three-year period, beginning 2024-25, with the first set of 100 CNG fuel buses set to arrive on the island between June and July of this year in time for back to school in September, he said. The minister informed that 10 of the 100 buses will also be equipped with members, will be equipped for members of the disabled community. He pointed out that additional buses purchased will see 10% earmarked for these persons. Currently, the JUTC has 12 buses that are in service for the disabled community. And in addition to the two expected in May 2024, a total of 24 buses that are accessible by members of the disabled community, and those will be on the road by August 2024, he said. Mr. Vaz informed that in 2023, a total of 70 new buses, including 45 diesel, 20 CNG, and 5 battery electric buses were purchased. Of the 70 buses, 56 have arrived and are currently being used in the service, and by the end of this fiscal year, the remaining 14 units are expected to arrive. Of the 14 units, 12 are expected to arrive in April and the other two will arrive in May 2024, equipped for the disabled community, he said. Meanwhile, the minister said work is being undertaken to further improve the JUTC's operations. There is still work to be done, but the bottom line is that you will see a great improvement in the efficiency of the JUTC by virtue of the addition of buses, he pointed out, noting that the company has been severely impacted by an older fleet of buses and fewer units. Meanwhile, Minister Vaz said the battery electric bus project, which allows for the testing of six units, commenced in 2023 and is ongoing. The project is intended to evaluate the performance of these electric vehicles and form the basis for comparison to the diesel and compressed natural gas buses. In essence, the move to electric buses is definitely on the cards, but we feel that the technology needs more testing and improvement, so it will come in due course, Mr. Vaz indicated. Alright guys, that's the end of the update article. So according to this, 114 buses, new buses should come into the island before September 2024. As we said, they are needed because the JUTC needs to roll out 400 buses a day to service the Kingston metropolitan area, which is Kingston, Portmore, Spanish Town. They are up to the region of 200 buses per day. So definitely more buses are needed. And now with all these highways being built around Jamaica, the JUTC is now going to have to expand its service to outside 
the Kingston metropolitan area. They're going to need to have buses. Well, they announced that they want to have a route that goes to Yalos because the highway goes there. And when the highway is finished tomorrow, they, they, they need a, a route tomorrow. They, they said they are going to do a service to Mandeville because that's where the highway goes now. But eventually that highway will reach Montego Bay and Negril. So if they can't, if they don't have enough buses to deal with the Kingston metropolitan area, that's Kingston, Portmore, Spanish Town, they're not going to have the buses to deal with these new routes that are opening up. So apparently these buses take a long time to come. I'm not sure why, but... 300 are on the way and 114 will be here by September. So that will make a huge difference in the delivery of service. So we'll keep you guys updated on the delivery of the 114 buses. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Have a good day.